नितीश तिवारी गिव्स यू बवा डोंट मेक द मिस्टेक ऑफ आई जजिंग द बुक बाई इसका द फैक्ट ऑफ द फिल्म स्टार्स द लाइफ ऑफ वन एंड वन एंड जानवी कपूर इज नो रीजन to say ah not one more released on the ott platform in the midst of a near famine of films at the theaters probably a preparation for the big time rocky or rani a power mix for good view from a variety of angles who would think that a mainstream hindi film would refer to anne frank to the second world war to the battle of nawandi etc who would even think of uh, dealing with the second world war not in its contemporaneity but from a context of something looking at it the games later the premise may seem very flippant but the opportunity is well taken and nitesh tiwari does the best he can with the kind of script he has yes he partly writes the film script along with piyush gupta nikhil mehotra and shreyas jain so partly you find the flippance of the script or its loose sand on which it's built but that not withstanding considering that you're sitting at home and watching it on an ott i would go with bavar unhesitating very interesting story line too it deals with a young couple from lucknow again chop cheese you have aju played by varun dhawan who is married to nisha fiction janvi kapoor they come from different backgrounds uh, Ajus parents uh, Anjuman Saxena and Manoj Pawar are both typically lower middle class and interestingly there's some space for women's liberation uh, the women in the house run the family on the other hand uh, Janvi's family or uh, Nisha's family come from a well to do family Aparna Goshal and Varun Tanda They both get married, arranged marriage, but before that, there's a lot of uh, screen space to establish Aju's character, the protagonist of the film. He is one of those uh, flamboyant, loud uh, guy who's cultivating an image of a person very different from what he was. He is one who's suffocated in mediocrity in the medium space, not a failure, not a success. So how does he get recognized? So creamy. helps him to build a story and illusion around himself unfortunately he is but a school teacher in a small town school in lucknow and blissfully ignorant of even the social studies that he is teaching fortunately he lands up in the midst of a controversy of corporal punishment and the recipient is none other than a young student nikhil chawla plays who happens to be the son of the local mla mukesh tiwari so he gets suspected but the couple in the meanwhile must you must know are also a dysfunctional marriage things go sour immediately after the arranged marriage when she throws up an epileptic fit notwithstanding the fact that he knows that she has a history for it but resigned to the fact that it never occurred in the last decade the hunky dory way to the marriage is mucked up with an epileptic fit at the end of the marriage the marriage remains unconsummated he thinks that this is a a front on his persona the family of his own his parents do not approve of the distance relationship between him and his newly wed wife back to the school suspended he now decides that he would make a trip to europe and teach social studies from the place where the incident happened and does a conducted tour of places 
where Nazi Germany's excesses happen, be it Paris, be it the uh, <clears throat> Omaha Beach, be it the Battle of Normandy, the uh, concentration camp at Orvosh, story of Anne Frank, all of this coming to the story as he keeps relating these historically through a virtual mode to his students back home in Lucknow. Looks flimsy that a guy has to go on the way to United to York to Europe and it all works. But interestingly, the story takes a leap. It moves on and presents a panorama of how somebody can deal with these scenarios years, decades, and how the hurt and trauma of the Second World War is something that mankind is not going to easily overcome. Short film, not very long, well made. What works for the film, apart from the nuanced idea of taking us to a visit to the World War sites, and giving us a reasonable perspective without turning into a near documentary on World War, without again going back to telling us about the excesses in detail. It also doesn't turn out to be a mere Smithsonian Museum. Neither does it turn out to be a narrative or a tirade. It's just a simple peep into what happened and leaves it at that. Interesting that the Zui Daga actor, Varun Dhawan, has come back to this kind of cinema and is willing to experiment with the kind of roles he's doing. He comes out a winner. Very balanced performance from the loud school teacher who's making fun to the one who emotes unknowingly sometimes to events of the second world. Jalini, yes, she's work in progress, she's doing well. She doesn't screech or shout like the more that the obviously comparative uh, example. It is also Good to see mainstream actors take up films of this kind, act in film. I'll be released only on OTT, but so on. As long as their art is recognized, so long as they have space to uh, exhibit the kind of talent they have, I think it's a good idea. They must do more such cinema. It's a clear notice to filmmakers who want to take mainstream actors into uh, good films to get the likes of Varun Dhawan there. This is not the first time one carries a film on his shoulders. Of course, Manoj Bhava, you don't have to talk about him. You know what a conservative actor he is. He's really done a great job. Sitting at home on OTT platform, next time you have some time and you say, Kya dekho? Go for it. It's a nice movie. My uh, acknowledgements to Abhinav and Datu for. Uh, helping reach out to all of you with this film review. Do watch the movie, come back to me and tell me how you liked it. Thank you, bye-bye.